It's Wednesday. You know what that means. It's Fighter Fest Week 2. Darby Allen looks for revenge on Brody King. You're facing the pain maker. And the barbed wire everywhere death match. Bring your pain maker. I'm going to hurt you and enjoy it. AEW <laughs> Wednesday Night Dynamite, live tonight at 8 on TBS. It's Wednesday night, time to ignite the dynamite, and it is Fighter Fest, week number two. I'm Alex, she's Dasha, and Dasha tonight, I hope there are no sharks around because there's a lot of bad blood here tonight on Dynamite. Well, let's get talking about it because we've got a match that uh, with two individuals who have really, the past couple weeks, developing really sour feelings towards each other, Darby Allen and Brody King. Lucky for Darby Allen. Last week we saw on Dynamite, we had a friend. It's Sting! The legendary Sting, the icon, came to stare down Malachi Black. You know, words, uh, just a look. It's like a thousand words. It's like a chapter book from Sting. That's all Sting needs. That's all Sting needs. Yeah. I can't wait to see the Stinger hopefully take out Malachi if he gets involved. And looking forward to Darby Allen hopefully taking Brody King to school tonight. Now tonight, the TBS champion Jade Cargill is going to be teaming up with one of her baddies, Kiara Hogan, to take on the team of Athena and Willow Nightingale. Who's got home field advantage? Because we know that the baddie known as Kiara Hogan's from Hotlanta. Some people like it, some people don't. But you What's, know it's what? close to here. I think I put it in the GPS. <laughs> you put it in. The blue flame burns the hottest. So that's Ooh. why she's from Hotlanta. But they're taking on. Willow Nightingale? Mm -hmm. Holy cow. Willow, I mean, I don't know how you just can't feed off of her positive energy. Oh, for sure. The Fallen Goddess, like the two of them together, this is going to be, in my opinion, I think one of the matches of the night. I, I can't wait. I can't wait to watch the women compete. I can't wait to see what the Varsity Blondes do to Christian and Luchasaurus based upon what just recently happened. I mean, Christian Cage has become so personal in his attacks. I mean, what's going on with him? Attacking the offsprings, like they're, they're fa there's no need to bring their fathers into this. I mean, just the words that come out of his mouth, like those, they say words don't hurt, those are hurtful. Those I are think hurtful. it's the turtleneck that's cutting off the oxygen to Christian Cage's head. I think that's yeah, what's yeah, going on. That, 1,000%. Now, here's a match that I'm a little bit confused about in a way because we've got on one side the AEW interim champion John Moxley teaming up with his brother in the Blackpool Combat Club, Wheeler Yuta, taking on the best friends. But Wheeler Yuta was like good friends with the best friends, so... Alex, 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 Alex you're allowed to have more than one friend. But how many best friends can you have? You can only have one best friend. That's why it's the best friend. But like Wheeler Utah was always hanging around the best friends, so we kind of called them all the best. I'm very by, confused. By proxy. By proxy, he was Chuck Taylor's mentee. I mean, but who has the advantage in that aspect of it? You know, that's a great question. I think there are definitely some hard feelings. We we saw what happened when Trent and Chuck confronted Wheeler Utah, and now, I, I don't know, but it's going to be a spectacular matchup here tonight. He's also now the Ring of Honor Pure Champion. He's aligned himself with the Blackpool Combat Club. I mean... It's going to be an incredible fight. You know what's going to be? In <laughs> you know what else is going to be incredible? It's not a fight, but a celebration. There's our swerve in our glory. Our AEW brand new tag team champions. We're going to have a swerve in our glory tag team celebration. So how would it go? Swerve in our glory. Please don't ever do that again. I'm pretty sure that's not how it goes. <laughs> oh, come on. It's going to catch on, right? Is it? It's going to uh, catch on. It's going to catch on. Okay, well... <laughs> Let's talk about our main events, because it is going to be barbaric. I mean, I don't think that there are words to describe what we're going to be seeing here tonight for the first time ever. It is a barbed wire everywhere, everywhere death match with Eddie Kingston and Chris Jericho, but not just any Chris Jericho. It's the pain maker. And you know what? I got my chum bucket ready, because guess what? The Jericho Appreciation Society is going to be suspended mm -hmm. from a shark cage. Yeah. Yeah, I hope they're not afraid of heights. I think, did you see that thing? I hope they are afraid of heights because somebody hey, right. teach them a lesson. That's actually really true. Listen, Eddie Kingston is a man who, like, if there was ever his name in the dictionary to a specific kind of match that he would be, like, this has his name written all over it. Yes, but we also know what the Painmaker is capable of. Painmaker's undefeated. This is going to be insane. This is going to be one that we're going to be talking about for a long time. And there's only one place that you can see it. We will see you all at 8, 7 central on TBS. For Firefest Week 2.